Good morning children. Today I will be teaching you singular and plural. Now this chapter you have learned in classes 2 and 3. So I hope you know all the rules but then I am going to revise the rules with you. Children what do you mean by singular? Singular means one and plural? Plural means more than one or many. Now there are many rules. Today I am going to teach you only five rules. Now you can see there are few things in front of me. Here. Potato. One potato. Many potatoes. One potato. Many potatoes. Potato is the singular word. Potatoes plural word. One tomato. Many tomatoes. One is the singular word. One tomato is the singular word. Tomatoes plural word. One single pencil. And many pencils. More than one pencils. One key. A bunch of keys. One single key. A bunch of keys. Key is the singular word. Keys plural word. A book means a single book. One book. Three books. One book. Three books. Book is the singular word. Books plural word. So let us now learn the rules which you have already learned children in classes 2 and 3. But then also I want to revise with you. The first rule is only by adding S. Like tree. So I want to change tree into plural. So I will add only S to make the word plural. Okay. Another word boat. Boat is a singular word. I want to make it plural. So B-O-A-T-S Boats. Pen. I want to make this word plural. So many pens. I will add only S to make the word plural. Book. Books. I have added only S to make the word plural. Then we will come on to the next rule. Rule number 2. When the word ends with O, X, S, SS, SH and CH, then we need to add only ES to the word to make it plural. Example, class. So I am going to add ES to make the word plural. It becomes classes, bus. Buses, ES I have added to bus to make the word plural. Dish, see the word is ending with SH. I told you when the word ends with SH, then only we need to add. ES to make the word plural. Potato. Y and the letter before Y is a consonant. 
Then I am going to change the Y and write I E S. Example, lady. Now you can see the last letter is Y. And before that letter, before Y, I am going to see the letter is a consonant or a vowel. It is a consonant. So if the letter before Y is a consonant, I will replace Y, I will omit Y. And I am going to add I E S to make the word plural. Another word, city. You can see children, the last letter is Y. But before this letter Y, I have a consonant T. Therefore, I will replace this Y. And instead of this Y, I am going to write I E S. I hope you are understanding what I am teaching. Another example we can see, pony, before Y there is a consonant, therefore I am going to change the Y, I am going to replace of Y, I am going to write I E S. Now, if there is a vowel in front of Y in the word, like key. You can see the word is ending with Y, but the letter in front of Y is not a consonant, but a vowel. Now what will I do? Will I replace Y and write I, E, S? No. I will simply write S to make the word plural. Same way valley. You can see there is a vowel in front of Y. Now I am not going to change Y into I, E, S. But I will only simply add S to make the word plural. I hope you are understanding children. Okay, next we will go to the next rule which is rule number 5. Changing F or FE to VES if I want to make the word plural. Example, wife. Now you can see that the last two letters are FE. So I am going to replace this FE with V-E-S. W-I-V-E-S. So that I can make the word plural. Next is knife. It is not knife. It is knife. So the last two letters F-E I am going to replace these two letters with V-E-S. K-N-I-V-E-S. Knives. Loaf. L-O-A-F. Loaf. Loaf of bread. Now the last letter is F. So I am not going to write this F. I am going to replace this F with V-E-S. L-O-A-V-E-S. Leaf. The same way I am going to replace this F with V-E-S. So I think I have given you enough examples. Please go through your books. Read nicely. And I am hope and I am confident that you will understand the lesson well. Thank you children.